Without a doubt, we love to upgrade the components on our firearms. One of the most widely upgraded components happens to be the trigger. Whether it's a pistol or a rifle, we want our triggers to be crisp, clean, and as light as possible while maintaining safety. The AR platform sees a lot of upgrades, mainly because, well, it's extremely popular, and because the triggers are now mostly one-piece units that are easily installed by the owner. Rise Armament has a high-speed low-drag unit called the RA535 APT, or Advanced Performance Trigger. It is CNC machined to exact tolerances, and it's a one-piece drop-in unit. Let's take a look at some of the features of the APT that make it a great trigger. First, it's 3.5 pound weight of pull, and it's single stage. It also has, it has a nice clean break with very little over travel, and the reset is extremely short. Obviously, you wanna shoot as quickly and as accurately as you can. That means efficiency. So anytime that we can shorten movements, that is more efficient and should, if we're doing everything we're supposed to, mean that less time is taken. All right, so let's look at the brake and we're just gonna put a nice smooth press on it. Okay. All right. It's a nice clean brake. Whether it's pistols or ARs, one of the things we don't wanna do is anticipate the shot. That nice clean brake, I think definitely helps, uh, helps with that in less time. You know, if we got something that's long and grindy, we kind of like, okay, this thing's gonna go off at some point. But when it's a nice clean break now, it makes for a cleaner break of the shot and better shooting. At least it does for me. So we've broken a couple shots. Let's look at the over travel and the reset. 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 Okay. So that's that really short reset. I don't have to go really far with that that trigger finger and end up slapping the trigger and, and the potential of moving the gun around more. It's just literally just little slight movements like that. That makes a huge difference. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I think what might be a good way to illustrate the difference the trigger can make is we're gonna take an AR that has a mil spec trigger. Mil, mil spec triggers are good, they're robust, they're gonna last a long time. They are heavier, there's a lot more over travel, and there's a longer reset. But, and you'll see it here, long and a longer reset. So, um, it's not that they're not good triggers. Again, they're robust and they're sturdy, but this will you know, probably show the example of the speed difference you get when, you're ha when you have a trigger like the APT instead of uh, a mil spec trigger. One nine, one six, one five, one six. So 19, 16, 15, 16. So what I'll do now is we'll shoot the AR with the APT inside of it and we'll see what the difference is. I suspect it should be faster, but I don't know. Sounded faster, felt faster. Let's see, one seven, one four, one three, one five. So there you have it. It's faster, but you know what? Let's run it again. This time we'll run, we'll run uh, this first and then we'll go back to the other. Maybe I just need a little time to warm up. Okay, that thing's ready to rock. One eight. One three, one two, one five. One three and a one two in that split once once they get going. And this isn't something I do. I don't shoot ARs. So I assume with a little more practice this could get faster and faster with this trigger. Uh, so let's go back and let's do the the mill spec and see what we can get with that. And I'm going to just take a second and All right, sometimes you gotta get those in first. Woo! That was pretty fast. One five, one four, 
one four, one four. A little more consistent with this trigger, but I was still faster with the APT. And I, I venture to say that I could get that APT down to where it's consistent one threes right after another. You know, another thing is that short over travel and short reset is that takes some getting used to that muscle twitch going that fast. This is a little longer, so it's kind of, it probably fits a little better in my timing process right now because I haven't shot, but I guarantee you with more and more time on that one, that thing's going to pick up once I get that, mu that muscle memory of, of the short over travel and short reset. I might try that APT one more time. All right, we're back online with the Rise Armament RA535 APT. Let's try and get that finger used to that short travel. Okay, so you heard the cadence change. Um, as I'm trying to go faster and shorten my travel to get the speed, that cadence is off. It's like do 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 do. It's just kind of weird, but it's cause my finger's not used to it. But let's check the time. So a couple of those splits were pretty fast. One eight, one one, one six, one one. Yeah. So that's why you heard that like slow fast, slow fast, slow fast, slow fast. A couple of those were one ones, but they weren't the back to back ones. One six, one four, one four, one one, one seven, one three, one six, one zero. Oh. I got down to a one zero. Oh. Um, again, I'm a I'm a bolt. I'm a bolt action trigger puller. So this thing is is, is designed for something completely different at this point. I used to shoot these a lot, but. It's fast, and if you do this repetitively, and you practice, and you dry fire, and you do those things, and you get used to that short reset and over travel, where you're a fit, where your finger is as efficient as the trigger, and there's no telling what you can do. So there you have it, the Rise Armament RA535 Advanced Performance Trigger, um, CNC machined, one piece, great quality. Nice, crisp, break, short, over-travel, short reset. It's faster. That's a nice trigger.